Hello everyone, my name is Namrata and today I am going to tell you about Simulink. So before going to the introduction part of Simulink, <coughs> I would like to tell you something about MATLAB. So MATLAB, it is developed by MathWorks and it is used for mathematical operation. Uh, it stands for mathematical laboratory and Simulink, it, uh, it is a MATLAB product. MATLAB is used for programming of different algorithms in the field of image processing and signal processing and uh, some other fields. On the same path, Simulink is used for model based design of a system. Uh, it is used in domains such as uh, automotive, aerospace, signal processing and a lot of some other domains. So to use Simulink, uh, first of all you need MATLAB installed in your system so matlab uh, can be installed on mac uh, os then windows or linux also so 1 gb for matlab only it is required uh, disk uh, disk space and 3 to 4 gb for typical installation of matlab then 2 gb ram if you are using simulink coder uh, so generally 4 gb is recommended and graphics uh, for graphics no specific graphics card is required hardware accelerated graphics card sub, uh, supporting OpenGL 3.3 with 1 GB G, uh, GPU memory recommended so uh, here I am using Windows 7 and uh, uh, actually there is uh, R2015B Ma uh, MATLAB uh, is uh, generally now used uh, it is the current version but I am here using uh, R2015B MATLAB uh, that, is, that was a previous version. So let's get started with Simulink. So uh, here you can see there is a command window. So you can here type different commands and get executed those commands. Then here is this workspace. Uh, uh, in workspace you can see different variables that you are using in your code or so programming then uh, here uh, you can see there is a command history uh, here you can see what uh, commands you had typed so there is command history then there is also a current folder column you can see here so in current folder, uh, you see the current fi uh, files you are using. So, and there is this toolbar. Here there is new script. It is used for MATLAB. So you can uh, use new script and write your new code. Then there is also a Simulink library tab. By clicking this tab, you can go directly to the Simulink library or you can just type simulink link in the command window and go to the simulink library so here you can see that simulink library browser is open and here you can see different libraries on your left hand side then uh, you can see aerospace block set communication system computer vision system control system so there are a lot of toolbox uh, in the in the Simulink library. Then here are commonly used blocks. Then continuous, discontinuities, then uh, math operation blocks. Here you can see different commonly used blocks. Here there is one icon that is new model. It says new model. By clicking this option you get a window to create your model so to create your model you just have to drag the you just have to drag the box you want to use uh, into th uh, this window and you can uh, create your model or you can go for the option that right click on the gain block you can see right click on the block which is required there you can see add to untitled by clicking this option you can see the game block is added to your file so let's see what are the other options in this window so by clicking the file you can see 
there is this option new in new there are three options to create model chart or library so we will see how to create a chart or library in further tutorials then in edit option there is cut and copy options and delete then in view in view there is library browser so by clicking this option you go to the library browser where uh, there are different blocks that we use to create our model then there is this option model explorer so using model explorer you can see the base workspace and model workspace of your model then you can add or delete some input output options then in view there is this toolbars status bar explorer bar options then in display this library links and sample time options are there so we will see how to use these options in further tutorials then in simulation there is run option the run option is available here also and then in code option uh, there are c or c++ uh, code generation option then hdl code generation options so this is all about uh, basic introduction of simulink thank you guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and thanks a lot thanks for watching